page of our packet. Chag Purim, it's Purim time. Chag Purim, Chag Purim, Chag Gadol HaYehudim, Masechot Rashanim, Zemirot Berikudim. Havan Arisha, Rash, 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 Havan Arisha, Rash, 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 Havan Arisha, Rash, 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 Barashanim. Rash means noise, so when you say noise, we're going to make some noise. Here we go. Chag Purim, Chag Purim, Chag Gadol HaYehudim, Masechot Rashanim, Zemir of Rikudim. Havan Arisha, Rash, 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 Havan Arisha, Rash, 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 Havan Arisha, Rash, 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 Barashanim. And in English, Purim Zir, Purim Zir, It's a holiday so dear, Baskin song, ring along, Frogger's loud and clear. Bring the noise, rush, rush, rush. Bring the noise, rush, rush, rush. Bring the noise, rush, rush, rush. For him time is here. Let's pick it up. Here we go. For him's here, for him's here. It's a holiday so dear. Baskin song, bring along. Frogger's loud and clear. Bring the noise, rush, rush, rush. Bring the noise, rush, rush, rush. Bring the noise, rush, rush, rush. For him time is here. Shabbat Shalom, everyone. We are so glad you're here for this very, very, very special Shabbat this evening. We're yeah, celebrating. It's, it's not Shabbat, Rabbi. It's not <laughs> Shabbat today. Today's Wednesday. Wednesday. Th- Wednesday. We're so glad you're here on this Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Why are we here on a Wednesday? That's right. Hanukkah. Happy oh, Hanukkah, it's not everyone. Rabbi. Rabbi, it's we not. are so. We're going to light the. We forgot the menorah. Cantor, we forgot the menorah. Do you want me to go get it? Oh, boy. We got to lug it out. Oh, it is Rabbi, heavy. Rabbi, 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 just slow down. Wait a second. Yeah. Wait Let's a second. Backtrack a little bit here. All right. Happy Pur- Purim. Happy Purim. Hey, there we go. Woo! Chag Purim Sameach. It is so wonderful to be together this Purim to celebrate hope and resilience. The story of Purim is a message of hope and resilience, which is really, truly, no jokes for a minute, a message that our world sorely needs right now. Sorely needs right now. And so we come together as a community and we celebrate, we gather as one. We know that we have lots of folks joining us also on Zoom this evening. And we celebrate our triumph over the evil, Haman! Wonderful. So that will be the last time that you hear that name for a while. So you can go ahead and put your grogger in your lap and hold on to it for a while. You'll also notice that you have bubble wrap in front of you, which we'll bring out again later. We start our evening... We start our evening, of course, as we do, with a service. And the service is, of course, our serious part of the evening. We have a, um, the packet that you got as you came in is going into the chat on Zoom so that you can open it. It's a Google Doc. We take a moment of seriousness. Mm, Very serious. 
We invite you to rise as you are able and comfortable for Baruch Hu on page three. All right, here we go. Go ahead and clap with me. Yeah, uh-huh. It's a call to prayer, y'all. The Ma'ariv service, the evening service. It's Erev Purim. We're here to pray. Uh-huh, what's up? Yeah, the call to prayer. All right, y'all ready? Y'all ready? What? Can't hear you. Y'all ready? Yeah. All right, here we go. So the call to prayer. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. Now, when I say bless, you say blessed. Bless. Blessed. 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 When I say bless, you say blessed. Bless. Blessed. 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 When I say bless, now you say blessed. Bless. Blessed. 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 All right, y'all. That's pretty good. Now let's try it in Hebrew. Here we go. Uh, keep clapping. Yeah. What? What? Now here we go when I say Baruch Hu, you say Baruch. Baruch Hu. Baruch. Baruch Hu. Baruch. When I say Baruch Hu, you say Baruch. Baruch Hu. Baruch. Baruch Hu. Baruch. Here we go. It's the call to prayer, the evening service. Here we go. What? What? Baruch Hu et Adonai HaMevorach. Your turn. Baruch Adonai HaMevorach Leolam Ba'eh. What? The call to prayer. You may drop. As the mic drops, you may be seated. Please rise. Please cluck like a chicken. Please hoot like an owl. Please spin around three times. I've taken note of all of you who have not spun around three times. <laughs> we remain standing as we turn to the Shema on page three. Shema. Please be seated. Page four. Biavta et Adonai Elohecha Bechol Levavcha Uvechol Nafshecha Uvechol Meodecha Vehayu Hadivarim Ha Ele Asher Anochi Mitzavecha Hayom Al Levavecha Veshinantam Levanecha Vadibarta Bam Beshivtecha Bevetecha Ublechtecha Vaderech Ubshochbecha Ubkumecha Ukshatam Leot Aliadecha Vehayu Letotafot Bain Einecha Uchtavtam Al Mizuzot Betecha Uvish Arecha Leman Tiskeru Vaasitem Et Kol Mitzvotai Vehitem Kedoshim Leloheichem Ani Adonai Eloheichem Asher Hotseti Etchem Meyeretz Mitzrayim Liyot Lachem Lelohim Ani Adonai Eloheichem Nice work, Rabbi. Nice work, Cantor. Yeah, really good. Wow, really great. We continue with a responsive reading before the Amidah on page five. <clears throat> Prayer is a word that begins with the letter P and ends with the letter R. It's a thing we do and the Jewish people have done it for like 
a long time, I think. Sometimes we sit and sometimes we stand. Sometimes we bow. But usually we just look around to see what everyone else is doing. <laughs> Prayer is from the heart and from the mind and from our ancestors and from the prayer book and from other places probably too. We will say out loud anything you write here because when we read out loud like this, you aren't really hearing what we say. Let us together move on to the next prayer. Yes, Rabbi, good idea. We invite you to rise for the Amidah on page six. Adonai sefatai tivta hufi yagite hilate Adonai, open up my lips, let my mouth may declare your praise. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu, Elohei avoteinu vehimoteinu, Elohei Abraham, Elohei Yitzchak, Elohei Yaakov, Elohei Sarah, Elohei Rivka, Elohei Rachel, Elohei You may be seated. Before our Megillah reading and special Purim spiel this evening, we want to see all those folks who have dressed up tonight. So we have a special, special way that we're going to do that. We're going to have a costume parade, a few minutes of dancing around the room. Anybody who's dressed up should come. Come follow Cantor Wolf when he's ready. Are you ready, Cantor Wolf? In just a second. And we'll ask that the aisles are clear because we'll be coming through the aisles. Our limbo friends are going to be helping us with some limbo up front. And we have a hula friend. Thank you, Lila, helping us with some hula hooping. All right, let's see what we got tonight. Look at that. All right, we got a bunny. All right. There's Ethan. Soul is a unicorn. We got a Spider-Man. A belly dancer. Woo! All right. Some cow people. We've got some cow people here. Is that a mommy unicorn? All right. Some basketball players. Oh. got the mayor of Shushan over here. All right. How low can you go? We also have heard that there's a birthday in the house, a double family birthday. Cece Fishman has a birthday today. Happy birthday, Cece. And Dan Fishman, the mayor of Shushan, also has a birthday today. Happy birthday. Woo! Don't forget it's a man. Whoa! <laughs> All right. Some special tricks.
chance to come even lower. All right. Wow, we have some amazing, amazing, amazing costumes here tonight. Purim is all about hiddenness, right? In the story of Purim, Esther had to hide her identity, and so we do a little bit of hiding. I've been calling myself tonight Hester, that is Esther's alter ego, also means hidden in Hebrew. Wow, thank you to everybody who dressed up to make this night extra, extra fun. Yeah. Woo! So in a moment, we're going to be moving into our Megillah and Spiel part of the evening, a fun retelling of Megillat Esther, that is the scroll of Esther. And this evening, we will be reading from the special, special scroll of Esther that our community has. This nice long scroll, Cantor is going to be reading in the special trope, that is the special chanting way that we read from the Megillah. It sounds a little bit different from the way that we uh, read from the Torah. So we're going to be doing some of that this evening. We're also going to be hearing, as part of our Megillah reading and our spiel tonight, that name, that name that I mentioned earlier, I forgot that name. Does anybody, can anybody say that name? Yell it real loud. Haman. Ah. There we go. There we go. So as we hear that name throughout the story, we'll have some time to make some noise. We blot out Haman's name, that wicked, wicked man. Oh yeah, do it, do it. You heard the name. There you go. Ben found the uh, air poppers. Nice work. <laughs> and then we'll stop when we see the stop sign. Before we hear from the Megillah for the first time, there are very special prayers that precede the Megillah reading. And those can be found on page seven of your packet. We've got our spielers ready to go. Howdy, spielers. Howdy. 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 You're gonna do it here, right? <laughs> All right, so we are going to recite these three blessings before we read Megillat Esther, the scroll of Esther. We're on page, page seven. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Asher kirishonam v'itzmota v'tzivanu al mikra megila Amen Baruch atah 
Ata Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Sheasa nisim lavoteinu veimoteinu Bayamim hahim bazman hazeh Amen Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Shehechianu vekiyamanu Vehigianu lazman hazeh Vayehi bimei achashverosh, hu achashverosh, hamolech mei hodu ve'ad kush, sheva ve'esrim u'mei ha'medina. Vayamim ha'hem k'shevet ha'melech achashverosh, על כיסא מלכותו אשר השושן הבירה. בשנת שלום למלכו עשה משתה לכל שרה ועבדיו חיל פרס ומדי הפרטמים ושרי המדינות לפניו. It happened in the days of Ahasuerus that Ahasuerus who reigned over 127 provinces from India to Ethiopia. In those days when King Ahasuerus occupied the royal throne in the fortress Shushan in the third year of his reign, he gave a banquet for all the officials and courtiers, the administration of Persia and Medea, the nobles and the governors of the provinces in his service. Howdy, partner. Well, how do yourself? <laughs> I reckon it's about Purim time. Well, I reckon it is. What is today? The 14th of Adar? Well, uh, sun done set, 13 done ended, so today is the 14th of Adar. Well, in that case, a head Purim Sameach to you. And a happy Purim to you too, ma'am. Uh-huh. So, uh, what all happens in the Purim story? Do you remember it? I reckon I do, but I might need your help of piecing the, together the details. Well, I'll do my darndest. Well, all right, all right, all right. As I recall, the Jewish people was living in the Persian Empire, which done stretched all the way from India to Africa. <laughs> oh, yeah, and there was that King Ahasuerus in Shushan. He was quite a character. He loved to party day and night. Loved that Persian wine. He loved women. What a guy. Darn tootin'. He had himself a square dance that one time in old Shushan, and after getting good and liquored up, he done told his wife, that Queen Vashti, to dance for everybody. <laughs> oh boy, and that Queen Vashti didn't like that one bit, uh-uh. She said, no sir, I ain't gonna dance for you or nobody else. Mm -hmm. And that King Ahasuerus, he said, she's got to go. Yeah, sounds about right to me. She said she had to go. Uh, yeah. But then, the king done got lonely. He didn't have no queen no more. Oh, I remember. He had a rodeo contest. The gal who could rope a steer like none other. That would be his queen. Yeah! <laughs> So the finest gals in all Shushan 
came to the contest. But there was one gal who was something special, that hero of the Jewish people, Esther. That Esther. Yeah, she didn't need to pretty herself up or nothing. She had that inner beauty. Yeah, that's like my cow Bessie. She ain't much to look at, but she makes the best milk in the whole darn county. I don't think that's what inner beauty is. But anyways, that King Ahasuerus, he saw Esther's inner beauty and knew that Esther had to be his queen. Yeah, but she was a Jew. How could she be queen of Persia? Well, she didn't tell nobody she was a Jew. Her uncle Mordecai, he done told Esther to button that right up and keep it a secret. Yep. Hey, do you remember that old Purim song? Which song? You know, the song from King Ahasuerus' Square Dance. Oh, yeah, King Ahasuerus' Square Dance song. What's it called again? Stand by your king. Oh, that's right. How's that one go again? <laughs> Chapter 3 Ben Hamadate ha agagi, Vaina sehu vayasem, et ki someal kol hasari ma sherito. Behol of de hamelech, ha sher bisha al hamelech, Koraim umishtahavim le haman. Ki chen si valo ha melech, 
ומרדכי לא יכרע ולא ישתחרר. Some time afterward, King Ahasuerosh promoted Haman. <laughs> Son of Hamedata the Agagite, he advanced him and seated him higher than any of his fellow officials. All the king's courtiers in the palace gate knelt and bowed low to Haman. For such was the king's order concerning him, but Mordechai would not kneel or bow low. Hey. Hey. Is your mom trying to make you go to Purim tonight? I can't even with this. Seriously, like aren't there enough Jewish holidays already? Also, High School Musical the Musical the Series is on tonight. Oh my God, did you see last week? It was fire. <laughs> Exclamation points. The porn story is ridic though, right? Totes ridic. Like, do you remember the porn story? BRB, my dad's making me take the trash out. Sorry, yeah, Porm is like Haman, boo, whatever. But the king with the weird name makes Haman prime minister, even though he's totally evil. I don't get it. Yeah, same. And there's the bowing thing. Like, Haman thinks he's the goat. <laughs> and wants everybody to bow when he walks by. But Mordecai doesn't bow, because the Jewish people are totes woke. Ha ha. <laughs> LOL, Amelia, you crazy. But doesn't Haman notice and then decide... <laughs> and then decide to like destroy the Jews of Persia? It's like all the Jewish holidays. <laughs> but the weird name king just says yes to Haman. <laughs> yeah. It's total trash. I thought the king was supposed to be a good guy. Yeah, but Haman tricked him. <laughs> then he cast lots to pick the date to destroy the Jews. Lots of what? <laughs> no, he like cast lots. It's like where they flipped a coin to decide something. OMG, Amelia, you know so much stuff. You totally paid attention in Hebrew school. Ha uh ha. -huh. <laughs> Did not. LOL. Um, but yeah, that's what the word Purim means. It means lots. Seriously? Yeah, so Haman cast lots. <laughs> and picked the 13th of Adar to destroy the Jews. Then they did a decree and stuff. Hey, do you remember the decree song? Yes, that song is total fire. <laughs> Do you ever feel with a king's decree? We're drifting to 
Chapter 5. Vayehibayam hashlishi, patil bash hester malchut, vita amor bechatser beta melech, hapni meet nochach, beta melech, vaha melech yosheb al kise malchuto. Bebeit ha-machut nochach betach ha-bayit. Ba-yehi kir ot ha-melech et estel ha-malka omedetz bechatzer nase achein be-einav. Ba-yosh et ha-melech le-estel et sharvit ha-zahab asher biyado v'tikrav estel v'tiga berosh ha-sharvit. On the third day, Esther put on royal apparel and stood in the inner court of the king's palace, facing the king's palace, while the king was sitting on his royal throne in the throne room, 
facing the entrance of the palace. As soon as the king saw Queen Esther standing in the court, she won his favor. The king extended to Esther the golden scepter which he had in his hand, and Esther approached and touched the tip of his scepter. Good Shabbos to you, Gladys. Come, sit, have a glass of tea. And a good Shabbos to you, Hyam. Oi, can you believe this weather? It's so humid, I'm schwitzing through my shirt. Oi, and I've got to go schlep all the way to uptown to pick up my dry cleaning mm. after Shabbos. God forbid we should have some good weather in the city. Oi! So what else is new? Hi, Bupkis. My little grandkids are preparing the porn spiel at the show. But I just don't know about the poem story. It's such a fakakta story. What are you saying? A fakakta story? It's Purim. Of course it's a fakakta story. But that, that Queen Esther? I mean, what was she thinking? I mean, Mordechai tells Esther about Haman's decree. <laughs> to kill the Jews. And she, what, has a feast? Who has a feast at a time like that? A Fakakta queen, that's who. Ah, she has a feast, Gladys, because she couldn't approach the king otherwise. On the penalty of death. I don't mean to quetch, but I don't think that Esther was such a Fakakta queen. Sure, sure, I am. <laughs> and don't forget that Esther, she had a second feast for that king and for Haman. <laughs> a second feast? What? Was there not enough food at the first feast? If my tante Sarah had have been there, well, they wouldn't have been so hungry. My Sarah, she knew how to put on a spread. Mm. Were you at that shiva last year for my booby? God rest her soul. Mm. Oh, that schmear, that pickled herring, the best. I don't know if Esther liked the pickled herring. It's, it's not for everyone, you know. My, my Marla, she doesn't have a taste for it. Well, if they didn't go in for the pickled herring, then that's their own Mishigas. Oi, Mishigas, that king, he was pretty Mishugana too. He can't sleep one night. So what does he do? He wants to hear the court records read to him. When I can't sleep, I get up, I go to the kitchen, I make an egg cream, and I read the favorites. <laughs> Oi, this was Shugana King. Oh, that's right. And that's when the king heard about how Mordecai, what a mensch, <laughs> saved his life. And then Haman. <laughs> oh! Appears. And the king asks, Haman? <laughs> What should be done for a man whom the king wishes to honor? And that Haman... <laughs> oh, he had such chutzpah. He assumes the king wants to honor him. But really, the king wants to honor Mordecai for saving his life. Mm. Oh. And that Mordecai, he gets to parade around in the king's robes and wear the king's crown and ride on the king's horse. And that Haman... <laughs> ...can parade in schmatters for all I care. <laughs> Haman in schmatters? <laughs> 
Gladys, you got some stick. You make me want to plot. <laughs> Did your bubby ever teach you Mordecai's parade song? You know, that old joyous forum song? Oh, yeah. It went like this. Chapter 7. The Yavo Hamelech, the Haman. The Stoti Mester Hamalka. By Yom Hamelech, the Esther. Gam ba yom hasheni ba mishte hayayin ma she'elatech esher hamalka v'tinaten lach v'ma b'kashetech al chatsi hamachut v'teyaz. So the king and Haman. <laughs> came to feast with Queen Esther. On the second day, the king again asked Esther at the wine feast, What is your wish, Queen Esther? It shall be granted you. And what is your request? Even to half the kingdom, it shall be fulfilled. <clears throat> Good evening and welcome to Channel 18 Nightly News. Stay on the fly with Channel Hi. I'm Ron Bergenstein. And I'm Veronica Steinbergenstein. <laughs> this evening, we will bring you a Channel Hi exclusive breaking news on the Purim story. <clears throat> we have just learned that Esther is now hosting her second banquet with Haman and King Ashosvera. <laughs> wait, 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 whoa, whoa, shh, 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 folks, yep, wait, yep, yes, I am being told that the lavish banquet has been catered by Kugel's Deli. <laughs> Veronica. I would give up my own firstborn child for Kugel's famous. Hey, 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 that's Passover, Ron, not poor. 
Mmm, Kugel's famous Reuben. Corned beef, roast beef, turkey, Swiss, Russian dressing, sauerkraut, eh, all grilled up on a Kaiser roll. Mmm. <laughs> Ron, we are live. Please focus. Esther has apparently catered the event well. King Ashos Veros has offered Queen Esther whatever she wants, even up to half his kingdom. That's right, folks, even up to half his kingdom. You heard it here first on Channel 18. Stay on the fly with Channel Chai. Oh, hey, thank, thanks for that, Barack. Thanks, really thanks. Oh, hang on, please. I'm being told that, well, I want to make sure we get this right. Yes, Esther has just told the king that she is Jewish. Mm -hmm. Yes, you heard it here first, folks. Esther is Jewish. Veronica, this is big news. And, uh, oop, oh, I'm being told that King Achash Veros, hearing that Esther is Jewish, is now choking on his Kugel famous Reuben. Mm -hmm. And yes, now Haman has performed the Heimlich maneuver on the king. And Esther has now revealed that Haman intends to destroy all of the Jews, including Esther herself. Mm -hmm. That's right, Haman. He intends to destroy the Jews of Shushan. And our live video feed shows that Haman's arms are still wrapped around the king's very large belly. And now Haman is trying to sneak away. But wait! Queen Esther has grabbed Haman by his ear. That looks like it hurts. Yow! My wife grabs me by the ear. I just can't stand it. Veronica, you would never do that to me, would you? Oh, my. Oh, 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 oh seriously, oh, oh. would you focus? Oh. The Jewish people are depending on us to tell the right story, the breaking story. It looks like Haman is now on his knees, begging Esther to spare him. And the king is now standing and shouting at Haman. And oh, it looks like the king has pointed towards the gallows. Haman is going to be hanged. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, this is news. Veronica, if you listen closely, you can hear the sound of the Jews celebrating just outside our studio here in Shushan. That's right. Haman is going to be hanged. The Jews are saved. And it's all things to Esther and Mordecai. Great news, Ron. Good night, and Godspeed to everyone out there in Shushan. Thanks for sticking with Channel 18. Stay on the fly with Channel Chai. <laughs> Thank you to our very brave Purim Spielers. Take a bow, please. Take a bow. They agreed to act very foolish, very brave. Um, happy Purim Chag Purim Sameach. We hope you had a great time. Woo! Because Esther is our Jewish star. Make him go up, 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 as we shoot across the sky, sky, sky. All right, woo. Thanks, Sean. <laughs> Happy morning, everybody. <laughs>